Voters want to know as much about the candidates as possible before they go to the polls. 11 Alive has reached out to both senators and their challengers asking for one-on-one -on -one interviews before January 5th. So far, John Ossoff is the only one to sit down with us. He spoke with 11 Alive Reveal investigator Andy Parati, who began by asking the candidate about his lack of governing experience. Why not get your feet wet doing local politics for city council, state house? Why run for this office? Well, I think that when folks look at what's wrong with Washington right now and the total lack of compromise and the lack of accountability to the people and the lack of new and fresh ideas, the last thing anybody says is that there's too many young people in power. Before jumping into politics, Ossoff grew up in the North Lake community outside of Atlanta. His mom, an Australian immigrant turned U.S. citizen. His dad, from Boston, runs a publishing company. Ossoff attended Paideia, a private school in Druid Hills, where he met his wife, Alicia, an OBGYN. She's just my rock and my best friend, and I'm so proud of the work she's doing. Both attended Georgetown University in D.C. Ossoff then went off to grad school at the London School of Economics. In 2017, he ran for Georgia's 6th Congressional District. At the time, it was the most expensive house race in U.S. history. So this is not the outcome any of us were hoping for. He lost. You've never held public office before, so we don't know exactly what your governing style is or would be. Can you give us an example in your career where you had to compromise to get something done, even though it, it exactly wasn't what you wanted originally? Well, first of all, the work that I do right now, which is focused on investigating and exposing corruption and war crimes and organized crime involves bringing together teams of people from different backgrounds to cooperate to make sure that the public understands the truth of what's happening in the world. Ossoff is talking about his company Inside TWI. It produces investigative documentaries overseas, like this one in 2018, which followed a woman formerly enslaved by ISIS in Iraq. But now she's escaped and wants answers. His campaign identifies Ossoff as an investigative reporter. He joined the company at 26 years old in 2013 as its CEO, never holding a journalism job before. Your company supports and produces investigative journalism but do you have investigative journalism experience? Yeah, I oversee all aspects of our editorial development. I mean, these are long-term investigative projects. So for example, uh, I will sit down in Kenya with journalists in Kenya who are investigating the assassination of clerics or the abduction of young people in Kenya, help them to develop that story. If you're elected, what's the first piece of legislation you're writing? And filing. Well, we got to be focused first and foremost on the response to this pandemic. So priority number one is working with the incoming administration to get resources to Georgia's own Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, to our rural hospitals. But I will also be working swiftly to help pass a new Civil Rights Act, to help pass a new Voting Rights Act, to help develop an infrastructure and clean energy program that will help us rebuild this economy and save our planet. All of that will be top priorities. And we have more of Andy's interview with John Ossoff. It is on 11alive.com. Again, we have asked Senator David Perdue for a sit-down interview as well as we wait for Senator Perdue's response.